Good morning, everybody. I am Brittany Umar. I'm joined by Matthew Wiz Buckley, who is not only founder and CEO of Top Gun Options, but is also a partner at T3 and is going to be the chief options strategist at T3 Live. I know a lot of you out there have been looking for options ideas, and Wiz here is here to provide them. So welcome. Thank you. It's an honor to be here, Brittany. Very <laughs> fired up. Uh, to be providing the uh, options arsenal, so to speak, mm -hmm. another weapon in uh, the traders here at T3 Live's arsenal. So couldn't be more excited, happy to get airborne. And we're going to be doing uh, a morning sit rep. Tell us what this is. You bet. Sit rep is, uh, is a military term for a situation report. So it's a, it's a brief, how goes it, which I guess is another military term. <laughs> but, you know, a, a situation report, quick snapshot as to what's going on so the leadership can make decisions. So actually, so our traders can make decisions. Okay, and speaking of military terms, tell us what is on the flight schedule for today. What's on the flight schedule for today <laughs> actually is, uh, and just came out, the biggest thing, in my opinion, that came out on the flight schedule, uh, ADP jobs numbers. 204,000, that was a miss. Mm -hmm. uh, the market, the street was looking for 218,000. I think the takeaway from that is that there's a two in front of that number and not a one. So we're seeing, it's this kind of, you know, milk warm uh, recovery. It's still a jobless recovery, mm -hmm. a lot of people leaving the workforce, but as long as there's not a one in front of that number, the market's going to take that as relatively okay. I mean, you know, within a, uh, within a one mile radius of where we are right now, I'm seeing, you know, from Goldman Sachs, Deutsche, all the quote smart people, I'm, I'm seeing as low as a print of 150 all the way up to maybe 350,000 jobs created. So. If, if you think that a lot of people are smarter than you on Wall Street, don't think that mm -hmm. because they might be throwing darts just like you are. So that's on the flight schedule. But more importantly, at 10 a.m., we're going to get ISM, non-manufacturing uh, PMI. Any read above uh, a 50 indicates expansion. Anything below a 50 indicates uh, contraction. But this is an important survey because it's uh, 400 uh, purchasing man uh, manufacturers that are surveyed about business conditions, employment conditions, how their inventories are looking, just an overall sit rep uh, mm -hmm. from them. And that, that's going to be some potential market uh, moving uh, information. Then uh, later in the day, sprinkled throughout the day, we have a bunch of uh, different Fed heads speaking around the United States. So that's, that's kind of what's uh, on the flight schedule today on a tactical level. On a strategic level, I think the market recovered a little bit yesterday because of quote unquote, you know, ceasefire over in Ukraine. But, mm -hmm. you know, while, while Obama's playing you know, checkers, this guy's playing chess. Right. Uh, he, he won. He wants a ceasefire right now, right in front of the NATO summit, because he wants to keep what he's already got. You know, we've already written off Crimea, and now he's essentially taken eastern Ukraine. And uh, I if you think this is over and this guy's going to stop here, uh, you're wrong. So we'll talk in a couple minutes about maybe uh, getting long volatility when mm -hmm. it's cheap, because I think uh, there's some things that could uh, freak out in the world. Well, of course, there's been tons of headlines that we've been dealing with out there. And one of the big headlines, of course, tomorrow will be the jobs report. So yeah. being as we saw that ADP missed today, how do you think that factors in to jobs report expectations for tomorrow? It's funny. As soon as that jobs report came out, a couple minutes ago, I, I, you could hear thousands of people scrambling uh, around Wall Street because now they're updating their number based mm -hmm. on ADP. But remember, ADP is a it's a private jobs report. It's not the the government. So we'll get the real government number tomorrow, and we'll see if we're still in what I call bizarro market, where good news is good news, bad news is good news, and awful news is great news. Mm -hmm. That's because the Fed's been around. So since you know, Mama Fed's going to be leaving us next month in October, um, it, it, we're going to see based on tomorrow's jobs report whether or not the, the bad news is bad news again. If, if we mm -hmm. see a jobs miss, I think we could, uh, we're either going to stagnate or, or uh, head a little to the downside. But uh, like you guys covered this morning with Red Dog, I mean, you, you can't keep this market down. You know, standing in front of this thing is, is standing in front of a, uh, a freight train. And we saw the, uh, the AAA cut that you guys talked about mm -hmm. over in the ECB. That's just, that's absolutely crazy. Uh, we, we expected some ABS purchases out of the, out of the ECB, but, but now they're also cutting rates. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Europe's a clown car, don't get me wrong. I mean, we're seeing Germany and some of the stronger economies over there starting to roll over. Uh, and, and, and so in Europe, bad news is good news. Mm -hmm. It's so bad over there that Mario Draghi's got to step in and right. give him the punch bowl like the Fed's doing in the U.S. So that's kind of a, a high level what's on my radar. All right. Well, let's get down to some real action here then and talk uh, trades. What kind of trade do you have for us today? I, it, it, a little stock, you, you've maybe not heard of it. It's called Apple, right? <laughs> it, it's on everybody's radar, uh, Apple. And as you can see, uh, this is one of my portfolios. It's called the Primary Live Trade Brief. For folks who are cavemen, cave women, or relatively new to options, 
And right now, I have a bullish double vertical on Apple that's up, as you can see right here, 150%. And this trade's been on for a couple of weeks, and it's up uh, 2,100 bucks. When I click on Analyze, you can see this, this trade can potentially make about nine grand on $6,000 in risk. Uh, and this is out to October. So I give mm -hmm. myself a little bit of room to have the launch happen, uh, and then see if, if Apple gets above 105 by October expiration, which is the third Friday in that month, this trade can see uh, a nice, you know, eight uh, or, or $9,000 profit. So that's an existing position. So Brittany, the one I'd be taking a look at today, if I was to, which I, I would look at potentially putting on this position today, it's also a bullish double vertical. Uh, let me click uh, edit the strategy here. And a, and a bullish double vertical, Brittany, mm -hmm. doesn't have to confuse you. It's just two vertical spreads on top of each other okay. with the same strategic mindset, a bull put spread and a bull call spread. And the bull put spread is what we call a credit spread, and it's going to finance that bull call spread. So here's, here's the trade itself, selling 30 of the OCT 98.57 puts and buying 30 as a hedge, the 96.43s, meaning, I don't know, the iPhone 6 launch comes out, and it turns out it, you know, it takes over the world. So it's an alien device, I don't know, and <laughs> Apple goes to zero. We're long Apple below that strike price. So we're bullish on Apple by buying 30 of the Oct 10140s and selling 30 of the Oct uh, 135s. Here's what really puts a smile on my face, Brittany, is mm -hmm. we can do this trade for a credit, meaning the market is actually going to pay me, quote unquote, to be bullish on Apple out to October's uh, expiration. If I can get this thing to click over here. So for 21 cents, let me click on Analyze. And what I teach my TGO traders is the first place your eyes should look is right there. Max potential loss, 5700 bucks. Most retail traders would have done what? Looked at Mr. Happy Face first. <laughs> hey, hey, Wiz, how much can I make right. on this trade? Don't do that. That's absolutely wrong. How much can I lose on this trade? 5800 bucks. How much can I make on this trade? Seven grand. So it's kind of similar to the one that I just showed you, mm -hmm. but this is the one I'd be looking at putting on today. If Apple has a nice pop uh, through the October expiration, uh, this trade is looking at a potential $7,000 profit. So this is wow. this is the trade I'd be looking at today. Yeah, that's quite a return for just a month. It is. Uh, well, th yeah, that would be, yeah, you're right, a, a little over a month. Um, th well, this model portfolio, as you can see, this is the performance for August. So the primary live trade brief model portfolio is up 20, 21, $22,000. And that's only on about, uh, on a $100,000 model portfolio, we're only using about $59,000, $60,000 in, in haircut. So that's a, let me do the mental math, 36% mm -hmm. return on that capital, 36% return on risk. That's in one month. So I'm really fired up to, uh, to, to start providing a lot of options tactics providing some mutual support to Red Dog and the VTF and, uh, and all the T3 Live traders and, and teaching them uh, the power, the leverage, mm -hmm. and the safety uh, of options. So I'm very, very fired up to, uh, to be on board. Yeah, well, with an idea like that, I think you're probably firing up a lot of other people as well. <laughs> exactly. You're going <laughs> to go place that trade. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, and until the two sites are merged, you can still go to uh, Top Gun Options dot com for more of these great ideas, right? You bet. Uh, we're going to be, one of the reasons I'm up here in New York is we're doing a lot of strategic planning. We're going to see what uh, new products and services we're going to roll out. We'd love to hear from you all as well. You, you give us the answer key. We shouldn't be sitting here and throwing out, hey, this is our new service. Why don't you tell us uh, what you need? I've been do, I've been playing Secret Shopper in the VTF for a little bit over the past couple of weeks, mm -hmm. you know, and I won't tell you what my call sign was. In there. <laughs> uh, and, and it's really great that a lot of you who might not potentially have the capital to, you know, swing some significant trades instead of you know buying a thousand shares of Google mm -hmm. you know maybe a hundred contracts of Google control the same amount of shares for a defined period of time mm -hmm. so I'm uh, I'm very excited to be able to provide uh, that stuff so yeah you can go to topconoptions.com mm -hmm. until the uh, until the sites are integrated and if you're interested in uh, you know taking a, a test flight I hate, mm -hmm. I hate the term trial you got to give it a test flight before you actually <laughs> buy the airplane uh, you can give us a call on our um, uh, 800 number on our on our web page and you can give one of our uh, customer service folks a call if you're interested in test flying any of our services before we come out with a formal here's what we got well perfect and thank you so much Wiz and welcome yeah, to T3 thank you. and T3 it's great Live. great meeting uh, you and look forward to working with you and, and all the T3 Live traders with our new T3Live.com yes and for now everybody happy trading have a great day